When we see group play games, is that already available or will that be available for uh, ARM-based PCs? I think it's helpful to understand the overall strategy and how it fits in. Your user were asking, when are we going to see that transfer of, you know, a console level game on Google Play Store? For sure. I, I think it's actually... Hey guys, Thundi E here and welcome to a fun and very different segment on the channel. Today we have Arash who is the VP of Google Play Games. And you know we love gaming on this channel. So, Arash, how are you doing? I'm very good. Nice to meet you. Likewise, nice to meet you too. So, tell us more about just what you do as the VP of Google Play Games. Sure. Uh, I'm the general manager of our games business. And in that context, my, my job is really to make sure we provide, you know, an amazing experience for gaming on play and make play the ultimate gaming destination. Nice, good to hear. So. First question, Sure. what device do you use? Uh, I use a lot of devices, but my primary carries are usually an S24, and my primary you know, uh, usage device is a Pixel Fold. Okay, yeah. all right, Pixel Fold. So I presume you game a lot on the Fold. Then. I do, actually, yeah. Okay, uh, now the next question, since, since we're sure, gaming, sure, sure. is uh, what's your favorite game to play, and what are your top five games? Because it might be more than Sure, one. sure. I, well, first, I have the, good fortune of having playing games be my job. So, you know, part of it is really understanding what's in the market. Uh, the games in rotation right now for me are a few, actually. I, I played The Tower as my primary game. It's kind of like an idle tower defense game. Okay. Um, I love toy forming, which is a play pass title. It's basically, you know, I do it with my daughter. So you can kind of draw uh, items and it pops them into three objects that you can build a world with. Uh, Captain Time is a fun one and Not Words. So, Primarily on mobile, I'm more of a puzzler, okay. uh, you know, short bursts person. On, on like a PC, I'll do more kind of open world survival. Oh, nice. So yeah. PC. Now we know that Google Play Games is available on PC, and it's a new feature where you can now play multiple games on PC as well. Um, can you tell us more about that and sure. like what that brings to the table for just gamers in general? Sure. Um, well, a few things. So I, I play, as I mentioned, a lot of mobile games, uh, and I, I do like those those kind of idle games or, or things that you're doing in the background. And so uh, one of the things I'm excited about is I tend to play a lot of AFK Arena uh, on, on PC as well. And uh, I mentioned the tower as another example of Clash, at uh, Clash of Clans. It's nice to be able to kind of set it and forget it in the background while I'm doing some work and yeah. I kind of come back to those games uh, and, and keep things going. So that, that's my primary usage of the, the multi, uh, multi-game feature. Feature, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, now, kind of just speaking on the multi-game feature, um, we know that, especially in the PC market, they are PC, the PC market is, in terms of laptops has been very exciting this yeah. year. We've got uh, devices from Qualcomm, Intel has new devices, AMD's coming out with new devices. Uh, this specifically is for Qualcomm. When we see Google Play games, is that already available or will that be available for uh, ARM-based PCs coming up? It is not currently available for ARM-based PCs, but it's definitely something that we're actively taking a look at. Um, yeah, not, not yet, nothing okay. to announce just yet. Okay, all yeah. right. Now, the, now, this is the question that I wanted to ask you once I sure. had this opportunity for an interview, and a lot, a lot of fans would be asking about this. Um, in the gaming space, you're a PC gamer, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, and you're a mobile gamer as well. And we've seen other manufacturers bringing console-level games yeah. to their mobile platforms. And as, a, as an Android user, we're asking, when are we going to see that transfer of you know, a console-level game on, on uh, mobile devices, at least in the Google Play Store? For sure, I, I think it's actually a pretty deep topic to get into. There's one piece of it, which is, you know, what do you as a gamer want to get out of that experience? It's something, you know, obviously I play a lot of games, so uh, I think about quite a lot. Um, and there's a combination of features when I think of console in particular. One is fidelity of games, which is what we tend to think about when we think of cloud streaming. And the other one is input modality, like controllers or things. And you've covered a lot of that on your channel, so, you know, Backbone and the Kishi and things like that. And so there's some blend of these features that enable those titles to come to the platform. And one of the unique challenges we think about is not just on the consumer side, how great it would be to have those experiences, but how do you make the economics work for developers? So how do we make sure that you know, developers see success bringing those titles to the mobile audience? And it's, it's a very complicated topic, but it's very top of mind for us. So we, you know, 
especially as you look at the landscape and you see, you know, gamers play across all these modalities, TV, console, uh, PC, um, you know, mobile, they carry the phone in their pocket, right? So, yeah. you know, the benefit you have of having that phone is it's there all the time and there's a huge opportunity for us to to kind of bridge these, we, we see an opportunity as play to really bridge all of these, uh, these uh, kind of play modalities to enable you to, you know, get a, find a game and play it anywhere you want and have that continuous experience across them. So, um, I think you're asking a specific question on when it will come. <laughs> yes. I, my main point is we're thinking about it. It's very complicated, and we're trying to you know make sure that when we uh, have anything to announce, that you know our developers see success in investing in this space. Okay, so so wait and see. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. Makes sense. When it comes to the Play Store and the type of games, we've seen that you guys have a subscription service. What should gamers look for within that subscription service uh, that meets their needs? Because there are different types of gamers. You know, the different gamers, like you said, you know, on mobile, you're a puzzler. Yeah. I like first-person shooters. People may like action adventures, RPGs. You name it. Uh, what should gamers look for in that service? Because you made some announcements mm -hmm. of new games coming up, things like Call of Duty Mobile yeah. on there. Uh, but what should gamers specifically look for that you think will be attractive to them? Great question. So uh, traditionally, the offering for Play Pass was focused on a curated set of premium titles. And you know we were trying to, uh, again, help developers find success in, in finding the right audience, especially for, uh, I would describe it as more narrative or story-driven games. Um, you know, since then, we've, we've also expanded that offering. Uh, so, so I would say that the offering for Play Pass is really focused on, one, offering you access to a curated set of over 1,000 games that we editorially feel like are really, really great experiences and that you know you can rely on that having ads or in-app purchases. But the second is, you know, there's a huge catalog of popular games beyond that. And you know, the the announcement we had for uh, Call of Duty, the collaboration there, is really saying for these really popular titles, we want to offer you discounts and rewards and, and so on, so you get the most out of those games. And so our goal is to be in a position where Play Pass is a no-brainer for you as a consumer, regardless of what kind of game you want, and you feel like you're getting a really uh, excellent editorial experience uh, to help you discover, uh, you know, the great games that are out there. Cool. Um, perks. Yeah. It's a new feature yeah. coming on Google Play Store, and it's also the I at least I saw a ton of gaming perks, mm -hmm. right? Um, how does that fit into at least just Google Play games in terms of the users myself? But like, what are you guys looking for with? users who are gamers looking at the perks i know in general perks are fun for everyone because mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely win different different prizes from you know like cell phones to of course controllers yeah so how does that play in for google play store uh, google yeah. play games itself great question um i think it's helpful to understand the overall strategy and how it fits in so at a high level i mentioned we want to make play the ultimate gaming destination and the opportunity that we see is that you have the phone in your pocket all the time and, and you know if we can, as you pointed out, bring other titles to the catalog, we can we can really kind of flesh out the, the holistic offering and make sure that whenever you want to find a game, it's available on play and you're able to play it wherever you want. Um, Perks fits in as basically the first pillar of our offering, which is making sure that gamers feel rewarded. So, you know, gamers spend a lot of their time and their money on the platform, and we want to make sure that as they're doing that, they're able to build their identity and they feel rewarded for the time and money investments that they have uh, with, with play. And the flip side of it is also that developers have the opportunity to access those users. So, you know, um, as I mentioned, it's, it's imperative for us to make sure that developers find success in the platform. And, you know, having a, a really strong royalty offering is kind of a win-win. Consumers see value, developers see value. Um, the second pillar of our strategy is uh, around being a companion. So historically, we've focused on just discovery, uh, you know, helping you come in with intent to find something, hopefully leaving with something found. But the vast, vast majority of your time is uh, spent playing games, not discovering games. And so, helping become a companion. You saw some of the announcements today around that, but. Um, really making sure that as you're actively playing your favorite game, we organize all the happenings, the events, the offers, the deals, and community features to make it really easy for you to engage more deeply with your favorite games. Uh, that's the second pillar. And then the third pillar we chatted about earlier, but it's multi-platform. So making sure wherever you want to play, you can play. Um, 
Hopefully that answers. Yeah, that does. Thank you. Um, so I have one last question. Sure. It's rapid fire. <laughs> um, and I'm going to start with first game you ever played. Oh, um, I think it was actually the original Legend of Zelda. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, next question is favorite console growing up? Oh, GameCube by far. GameCube? Yeah. I would have said N64, but I spent so, many, so much time on, on uh, uh, Double Dash and, uh, is that right? Yeah, Double Dash and um, sort of Rewind History uh, and um, Smash Brothers. Brothers okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, next question yeah. is first mobile game you played? Uh, actually, I think it was, I think it might have been, um, I'm trying to remember the time because it's rewinding so far. It was probably Snake, <laughs> you know, which I don't know if you count, but like that, <laughs> it, it counts, that probably it is it. Yeah, it counts. Okay, um, and then the final question is, if there was a game you would love to play on a mobile device from any platform, mm. what game would that be? That is a great question. I think I, I wish there was more continuity of some of my favorite open world sandbox games. So I would say something like a. Like a Seven Days to Die, okay. uh, or a, um, I guess it's not a sandbox game, but Phasmophobia. Like some of these games that I love playing with my friends and getting that social aspect. I yeah. feel like that's something, you know, we're trying to work with a lot of developers on to bring that to the platform and that social element, element to gaming. And so yeah, th those types of games I think would be my personal picks. Uh, but you know, always excited to have the shooters on the platform uh, to make sure you're happy as well. <laughs> well. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure. Pleasure. And I definitely enjoyed this. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments, definitely, definitely leave them down below and I'll be happy to send them over. He'll try and answer them for you. Till then, always enjoy your entertainment.